Right, when the Spanish arrived in Cusco in the 16th century, they came into here, the Coricancha, the center of the Inca Empire. And they found on the wall this object, which they referred to as the, the altar, which was 10 meters tall and four meters wide. And it seemed to be a cosmic scheme of the entire Inca religious ideas to do with the celestial bodies and the relationship of the cosmos with the earth and this is a representation a modern representation of it it was originally made of a, of a gold alloy which was actually uh, melted down by the Spanish um, and the resulting gold taken back to Spain um, but luckily the Spanish chronic chroniclers at the time recorded exactly what was on this altar and this is an approximation of what was there this is a modern reproduction and you can see at the top this arch representing obviously the vault of heaven and you see this um, this group of five stars in a cross up there below which you've got this this vertical ellipse known as the um, the oval of uh, of Veracocha and you can see on the left the Sun and on the right that's a representation of the moon which were very important in Inca cosmology on the left again you've got a star which re supposedly represents Venus on the right another one which could represent Mars then below that you've got a cross of stars which is known to represent the Southern Cross which was very very important in Inca cosmology and astronomy um, it was also known as the Chicana um, the cross of the Andes which is represented all over uh, Cuzco and in various other parts of the empire as far south as, as Tiwanaku and below that you've got two figures roughly um, represented here the left one is a male the right is the female almost certainly these were the the Inca king and queen and below them you have this this rectangle with these uh, this cross hatching on uh, which represents the, supposedly the, the mineral kingdom although presumably it could also represent the earth and the fields that crisscross the earth itself and there are various other strange images there's a strange animal which could be a puma but has like these four spikes coming out of his mouth other bits and pieces over here you have seven dots now these are supposedly represent beans um, but they are almost in exactly the same shape as the Pleiades constellation which is supposedly represented on this uh, schema although that's usually identified as that group of 13 stars up there which seems a little odd as the Pleiades itself only has seven stars there is this lightning strike here which represents the weather bringing rain which waters the, the sacred river the, the, um, uh, the, the, the Wilco Mayu um, and here, this circle here, represents the, the Mother Earth and there are three sacred mountains there uh, from which the sacred river runs. Um, and above that you have uh, these, these two arcs which represent the, um, uh, the a rainbow. And there are obviously other elements on here, but what I'm interested in is the identity of the stars. We know that this represents the Southern Cross, the, the Shikana, the cross of the Indies, uh, of the, the Andes, somewhere here we have the Pleiades, but what is that constellation at the top? Now, a modern interpreter of, my, of uh, Incan astronomy has suggested that this is the three stars of the belt of Orion. However, as you can clearly see, this is a group of five stars. And the original term that's used to describe this particular constellation actually suggests that it was a, um, a heavenly representation of the Coricantia itself which is seen as the navel of the world this is the navel of the sky so in other words it's a case of as above so below so can we identify this cross well almost certainly it is the stars of the northern cross uh, the Cygnus which in uh, Eurasian tradition and also in America in many places is seen as a celestial bird but certainly in Central America also in North America it's also seen as a cross basically a cross 
that represents the point of entry and exit to the sky world. And I think that's exactly what it is. And Italian archaeo astronomer uh, Giulio Magli um, actually felt that he'd identified the, uh, the corresponding place to Cusco on the ground in the sky as the, the entrance to the dark rift on the Milky Way, um, which is exactly where the cross, the Northern Cross, the Stars of Cygnus uh, are actually placed. And through conversations that I've had with, with people that speak the, 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 the local language and who understand the Inca cosmology, this whole central column represents the ascendance from Earth via the, uh, the king and queen of, of the Incan Empire up via this cross here which represents the point of entry into the sky world. Usually it's represented with a, a hole in the centre um, and this is your point of entry and then you're climbing on the Milky Way through this so-called oval of Viracocha which is one of the bulges or, or rifts actually on the Milky Way, we're not sure exactly which, it could be the one in the northern hemisphere, it could be the one in the south, but the end point, the actual place of creation, the place of the high god Viracocha, from which he created the whole of the universe, is this cross, this cross shape representing the five stars of the northern cross of Cygnus itself, which universally around the world is seen as a place of creation, a place of entry and exit to the sky world, a place where souls come from before death and return to at the end of their life. It's the place of the afterlife and that I'm sure is what is represented here. This is the very centre of the Coricantia um, at Cuzco. Right? Now, this represents the navel or the umbilicus, um, the, the, the very centre of the world in Incan tradition. Um, and basically, you can see that the, there are actually slopes going down here, like you know, run, runways, as it were, that allow the water to actually go into this like central depressed area and then disappear somewhere underground and this underground represents the underworld. Um, this here represents the centre of the earth itself, the middle earth, and directly above would have been the sky world. The sky world was represented by the condor, the middle world was represented by the puma and the lower world was represented by the snake. But there's more to, to this because Cusco itself is in the shape of a puma. The puma um, is one of the animals that was said to be a constellation placed on the actual Milky Way. The fact also that Cusco is placed where two rivers split uh, suggests that here was the spot on the Milky Way where it bifurcates or forks to create what's known as the Dark Rift or the Great Rift. Um, and this is the area of Cygnus. Um, and an Italian archaeo astronomer by the name of um, Julio Magli was able to discern a constellation which he saw within the dark area at the beginning of the dark rift, um, which he said looked like a puma. And that and several other pieces of evidence would suggest that the actual entrance to the sky world in Incan tradition and obviously pre-Incan tradition was um, in the area of the, the, the opening of the Dark Rift where Cygnus is. So the sky world was up there where the Milky Way split in two. This was a representation of it in the middle world and somewhere underneath here is the lower world itself. So, you know, this is the absolute point of the centre. And if I may show you what we've got round here, this is the, 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 the symbol um, of the Incas, it's the most sacred symbol, it's you know their form of the cross and what this basically represents is that the three steps go up to the sky world, the three lower steps go down into the underworld, the crossbar represents the, the middle earth or middle world and the hole in the centre is that here, it's that very spot here and 
um, I asked the, the, the shaman, the Incan shaman, Wilco, and he said that this represents basically the omphalos, the, the navel, um, the very centre point of their world. So the whole thing has this perfect symbolism coming together.